Journalist Roxana Sabiri was visibly moved as she returned to her hometown for the first time after her imprisonment in Iran on spy charges. <laughs> I, I didn't think I'd see friends um, like you so soon. Um. <laughs> she was greeted at the airport by a crowd of well-wishers, including students and teachers from her alma mater, nearby Concordia College. Before Sabiri spoke, the state's governor said he was proud of how she handled herself since being arrested in Iran in January. And throughout this long ordeal, you handled everything with class and with dignity and with poise, and we're so very, very proud of you. Although she was initially overcome with emotion, Sibiri was also lighthearted in her remarks to the crowd. And those first few days in Evan Prison, I was thinking to myself, I wish I had known I would have never left Fargo. <laughs> she said she also hoped for better relations between Iran and the U.S. in the future. I know there are a lot of obstacles in the way, but I hope that my release can remove one of those obstacles to the extent that it may have been one, so that the relations between these two countries can improve. After her conviction, the 32-year-old was sentenced to eight years in prison, but an appeals court in Iran reduced it to a two-year suspended sentence and released her May 11th. Sabiri denied the charges and recently said she'd given a false confession under pressure, only to recant later. Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press.